Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and I have the new Silhouette heat pen, and I wanna share with you how you can set this up in your Silhouette Studio software and get started with foiling with your machine. This is compatible with the Curio 2, Cameo 5, and Portrait 4. I will be sharing the Curio 2, but it's still the same setup for all machines. With the Curio 2, you are going to use this with your Curio debris tray. You do not want to heat emboss on your electrostatic bed. You're going to tape your cutting mat into that debris tray, and then you're going to place your cardstock on your cutting mat. For the Portrait 4 and the Cameo 5, simply place your cardstock on the mat. Then you're going to go ahead and install your blade and your heat pen. The heat pen goes in Tool 2 housing. Do not worry if the red light doesn't come on, it will throughout this entire process of the setup. So we're going to set up our page in the software. So I am using a Curio 2, I'm going to be using letter size cardstock, and I'm going to add a design from my library. The link is in the description below to this design. I always recommend starting with a very simple design. So I'm simply going to scale this down to this a small size, always start small when you're testing. I'm going to draw a rounded rectangle around the design. This is going to give me a cut line so I can remove this as a finished project. And then I'm going to align those centered. Next, I'm going to make sure that it's set up properly. So for the Curio, it's going to be using the debris tray and I wanna make sure I have a cutting mat selected so that shows on my screen. I'm going to select the design that I want to be foiled and click on the specialty tools panel that's the second icon from the top right. Then I'm going to choose the heat pen panel and I'm going to simply select the crosshatch pattern. I'm going to use the default that was 0 0.016 and then I'm going to change my line color to blue. This is going to allow me to send one thing at a time to foil and then remove the foil and be able to cut. When the send tab opens, it opens on the simple tab. That is no problem. My machine is going to be recognized. When the heat pen is recognized, it's going to give a pop-up and you have the ability to turn it on. I'm going to set this up by line color. So I'm clicking on the line color and then I'm going to uncheck the red color. I want it to foil first. So I'm going to set up the blue color with tool two. That is my heat pen. And then there is no setting for the foil action for cardstock plane. That's no problem. I'm going to set up that setting. Click on more. And then here you're going to choose which machine you're using, but I'm going to click on the plus sign here and I'm going to set up a new material. So I'm gonna right click and choose rename if I don't have the option to type. And I'm just going to make cardstock foil, click my machine. And then what I need to do is click on carriage two it has a sketch action, but I don't want that. I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to choose add foil action. Then I am going to click on sketch and I want to remove that action because I do not want it to show up and accidentally use sketch. I'm going to have the foil underneath carriage two for this new setting and I'm going to use a force of 10. You need to test for your particular materials machine and foil. Click the X in the top right after you save. And then you can see that the machine is heating the pen up. It's going to tell us when it's ready. Make sure blue is the selected color and then change the material to the new material that we have just created. Verify that your settings are correct. And then this little icon here tells you the heat pen is heating. If you wanna turn it off, you can click on that. The pen takes about three minutes to heat up and while that's heating, we can set up our foil. You wanna start with corner to corner with your tape and pull that as taut as you can. And then you're going to add the other corners onto that. You want your foil as smooth as possible and you do not want it to move or get caught on the tool. Once you have that foil, you can come back to your software. When the pen is heated, the software will show you that it is ready. Once the machine is ready, verify that you have the correct thing going to be sent to foil. 
So blue is going to be foiled. Click on send. And this is specific to the Curio with the height detection. With the foil action, the height detection is disabled. So you're going to have to do that manually and follow the instructions. So you're going to see me manually move the housing to detect the thickness. Now this is specific to the Curio 2. With the Portrait 4 and Cameo 5, you will not have to do that. So I am simply moving my housing. And I really love this, uh, the manual detection for the Curio. And then I'm coming back to detect the thickness. Wherever you leave tool one housing, that is where tool two is going to detect that thickness on the Curio 2. It is going to come back to the software and it's going to register the thickness of that material. I really like this feature. And then I am going to reset my housing after doing that to the point of origin. And then I can continue to click through the menus. You will want to read all your instructions for this. It's telling me to reset my housing, which I've already done. And I'm going to click send. And then it's going to start the foiling process. This video is sped up the size of your design, the fill pattern that you chose, and the spacing that you choose are all going to make a difference in how long it takes to foil. The success for your foiling projects is going to be dependent on your setup and practicing. Everything needs practice. It is the best way you can do it and not all of them are going to turn out. So now it is finished with the foil. Take a peek test. If it didn't work, you can sometimes put that back down and try again. Here is the finished project with that. And then our next step is going to be unchecking the blue and we're going to check the red for the cut border. Then you're going to verify red is at the bottom and I'm going to change my material to a textured cardstock because I know that setting works for the cut through. And then I'm going to click send. This time the auto height detection is enabled because it's a cut. And then it's going to detect the height, set my auto blade, and then for the Curio 2, that's the touchdown for the blade and it's going to cut. And then I can carefully remove that. The Silhouette Spatula works great for this. Keep in mind that when you're foiling, if your force is too high or you do a lot of foiling, it can cement that down to your cutting mat. So be very careful when you remove that. So here's a look at that finished foil and we'll take a close up. Here's a close up of that. And then I did test with a couple different foils. The foil quill foil worked well. Heat activated foil is what you are looking for. So here's a look at that finished project. And then I also had Spellbinder Glimmer Hot Foil System. That worked as well too. There's the sneak peek of it. I still have my tape on there just in case. And then the finished project as well. Practice, 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 and just play with it. Here's just a look at a couple. Check out the description below for more information. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.